welcome to another episode of the Learn the Tarot with Moxie podcast. My name is Michelle, and I am your guide on your learning journey when it comes to the tarot. So thank you for being here. I'm so glad that you are joining me today. Today we're going to talk about getting a tarot reading. And I think if you have been listening to the podcast for any length of time, you understand that my preference is always to read our own cards. Our, my preference is always to empower you to get the answers you need as opposed to going off to someone else. And I get it. It is human nature to want to know you know, what to do and how to do it. And when you're just learning the tarot, it can be, um, it's sort of an experience of not trusting yourself yet. So I understand that perhaps while you are in this learning mode, you may be interested in going out and getting a reading because like I said, life is bonkers right now and you are looking for some answers. The world is in, I don't chaos. Is that, is that a fair way to explain it at this point? I'm not sure. Um, it feels like it on some days when I turn on the news. And so, so yeah, going to a reader is fine. But I want to encourage you to learn to be your own reader so you can use the tarot as a tool for allowing your higher self to help guide you toward what's best for you and your situation. And until you are ready, let's talk a little bit about how to be an informed and discriminating consumer of a professional tarot reading. Until you have the time and the opportunity to learn to be your own tarot coach, here are some tips for getting a high quality reading from someone else and what to look for in a good tarot reading. I think sometimes when people go to a tarot reader, they don't realize the amount of power or um, input or impact, how they are, how they uh, phrase their question, how they um, maintain their energy at that time, how they're doing all of those things can, can really make an impact, right? So the first thing we need to be looking at is exactly what it is we're trying to get clear on. We need to really understand the question that we're asking. We need to really understand the information that we're looking for. If we don't understand that information, if we are vague, then in all likelihood, the reading is going to be vague. So, you know, you get out of your reading what you put into it. So it's worth taking some time to get really clear on what it is you're asking for especially when you are working on reading for yourself. Because if we're not clear, then we get muddied answers and that makes it more difficult for us when it comes to learning how to read and read for ourselves. So take some time to get extremely clear on exactly what it is you're looking for And I would suggest even to write it down so you have it there in front of you. Ideally, when you are going to see a professional, you have learned a little bit about them before you go. Maybe you are going to them because a friend of yours said, oh my gosh, this person's amazing. Or maybe you um, checked out the local metaphysical store and that person's bio and you have an understanding of what it is they do and, and whatnot. That is just good information to have because if that person's bio 
if the information about that person doesn't resonate with you, if the way they read doesn't resonate with you, it's not going to be a satisfying reading for you or for the other person. Them having a different way of reading or a different approach to reading from what you may be used to doesn't make them wrong. It just makes them different. We all use the tarot in our own way. So if you have a very specific idea of what a tarot reading should look like and what type of information and all of that, then just, just do your research. It will be a much happier experience for both of you. On that note, again, you know, go for your reviews. Go for um, personal recommendations of other people, testimonials on their website, all of those types of things. Now, when it comes to getting a reading from someone, this is going to refer back to, I think it was the last episode I put out, which is talking about not giving your power away to a professional reader. And while I understand there is nothing more that most of us want when we whip out our cards is a clear-cut definitive answer, I want to caution you against taking anyone's word as a clear-cut answer, as the gospel, as whatever it is. Take what your reader says with a grain of salt, mull it over, consider it, but don't go out and quit your job or ditch that person or whatever. Take some time to sit with your reading and really process it after you have had it. You're also going to want to let your reader know exactly what you're looking for. Meaning, refer back to the first item we talked about, which is getting clear for yourself on that information. And then let your reader know what you're looking for. Are you looking for suggestions for moving forward? Are you looking for potential options for achieving a goal? Can they point out some avenues for you to explore? Are you looking for someone to help you with some shadow work? Whatever it is, be very clear with your reader. I know that <laughs> some people believe that when you go to a professional tarot reading, that you shouldn't provide too much information to the tarot reader. Too much personal or background information or information that could potentially, and I'm using air quotes here, help them with the reading because you wanna know that they know their stuff, right? I'm gonna call BS on that. <laughs> If you want your reader to give you a good reading, if you want your reader to be a partner in your reading, then you have to be open and willing to provide the information. For God's sake, even just provide the right kind of energy, right? If you go into your reading, I'll shut down and say, yeah, prove it to me. Good luck, right? Go into that reading with an open heart, with an open mind, with the acknowledgement that we all do things differently and that ideally your reading should be, again, my opinion, should be more of a therapy session than what we consider a traditional reading. The tarot should be an avenue for us to problem solve. And if you're not able to do that for yourself yet, then by all means, using a tarot reader, right? So a good tarot reader is going to be able to get into this space with you where you're working together to solve this problem based on the cards that are coming up, based on the card reader's intuition and all of those things. It will be a much more satisfying reading for both of you. And conversely, I want to remind you to use your own intuition and your own personal spidey sense to use the tarot wisely to experience your reader. 
meaning if you sit down at a table and you just get that ick feeling, then you're not with the right person. Immediately, your reading is off to a bad start. Now, different if you sit down and you look at this person and, and there's just a, a kind of that ethereal, different plane, hey, I recognize you as one of us kind of folks, then great, sit down and enjoy. But it is your responsibility as the consumer to make sure that you're choosing somebody who feels good to you, who is going to um, provide you the type of information, who's going to have the, the focus on what you want them to focus on. So to summarize, here is how to get the most out of a professional reading. Arrive with a very clear, concise question that you want to explore. And remember that phrasing is important. You can check out one of my earliest episodes, which was on asking the tarot questions, if you need a refresher on that. It's way back, so you might need to dig a little bit. Consider what the reader shares with an open mind, but don't take it as gospel. A lot of times when a reader sees something, because the tarot is not the best tool for time frames, what you might discover is that a week later or a month later, whatever that situation was is showing up for you, right? It's basically your reader was correct. The reading was accurate. It's just that time frames are tricky. Remember that clamming up and waiting for your reader to prove they're amazing is doing you and your reader a disservice. Remember to ask for suggestions about how to solve particular problems. Ask for the cards to provide some insight into work that you might do that will move you in the right direction. Focus the reading on information you can pull from it or glean from it that will give you some possible approaches to a different situation. Ask for a reading that helps to get you some insight into maybe what happened in your past to be influencing your future. And then lastly, consider viewing the tarot as a directional tool, not a divinational tool. Meaning, consider looking at the tarot as something that, like a, uh, a GPS, more of a GPS than a pendulum. And your readings at that point will start to become much more rich and um, much more useful. Basically, this comes down to I believe the tarot should be a tool of inspiration, um, personal empowerment, a tool that can help us explore the skeletons in our closet in a safe way, that can help us brainstorm potential problems and solutions, and best of all, gain insight into ourselves. When we're talking about what a good tarot reading will will do or how, what a good tarot reader will do. A good, honest, of integrity reader is going to be honest about the limitations on time frames and the tarot. And they, they will either hesitate or they will say, hey, you know, this may or may not be within this time frame and explain to you the limitations of the cards. If you go to a tarot reader and you say, I want to know when I'm going to meet my soulmate and they tell you, then you have just been scammed because that is not how the tarot works. A good tarot reader is always going to explain the limitations of the cards, how they read, how they use their intuition, and be willing to answer any questions that you have about their process. 
So, once again, while I much prefer to see you reading for yourself, um, exploring your own psyche, digging into what's in the closet, I absolutely love getting tarot readings myself, right? So I'm not telling you not to get them. I'm telling you to remember that you are using the tarot as a tool for personal growth. If you get a reading from someone else, just tell them that's kind of what you're looking for and see where it goes. The more you work with this, the more you're going to learn about yourself. And regardless of whether we like what we see when we get to know ourselves, we're given an opportunity to make a change. And we're given an opportunity to become more what is in alignment with what we want to be. And the tarot is a perfect modality for helping you with that, right? Because it is all about providing insight and direction. All right. I hope that this was an informative and helpful episode for you. Um, just a couple notes to put out into the ethers. I have completely redone my website and I am making some pretty massive changes to how I'm approaching Moxie. And I invite you to take a look at the website. It's going to be focused on teaching. 99% of it is focused on teaching the tarot, um, all of the stuff that's in the podcast. I am not doing readings anymore. Um, I mean, not that I would never do a reading if you're desperate for one or if you really, really would like one, but that is not my focus. My focus is on helping you learn to use the tarot the way I do with your own spin, right? With your own zhuzh and getting to know yourself better. In terms of the courses that are available, right now there are two courses available. There is the birth card course that I've had up for quite a while. And there is also a course that is actually free right now for anyone who would like to take it that is a course designed to teach you how to put together your own digital course. I had people who were asking me how to do it, and so I just put a course together for that. I'm trying to decide what to do with it right now, trying to decide if it's something I want to charge for or whatnot. It has been through one pilot, and um, I am going to just leave it available until the 1st of March for anyone who wants to try it for free. And um, my request is that if you decide to approach the course and use the course and create your own course, that you provide me some feedback because that's really what I'm looking for to find out if it's helpful, if it's not helpful, what is and what isn't, what needs to be added, what needs to be changed and whatnot. So that is available for you as well. All right. Take care. Have a fantastic um, week or span of time until I get another episode up and running. I am um, working like a crazy person on getting courses put together and all of that. So um, I want to get a couple courses up, let them be available to you, um, and then we'll be focusing more on the art. So be well. Have a fantastic week. And I will look forward to talking to you soon. Bye-bye.